Hello and good evening. I'm Amanda Alfonso. You're watching Goa 365. Our headlines for the day. British witness in the rape and murder of Scarlet resurfaces. Police record his statement. Chief Minister briefs Prime Minister over the issue. Home Minister to request Union Government to ban Fiona from entering the country. Mothering and Smothering, a guide to effective parenting released. Now the news in detail. Michael Mannion, one of the witnesses in the alleged rape and murder of 15-year-old British tourist Scarlett Eden Keeling, finally came out of his hiding and gave his statement to the police yesterday evening at the Polvery Police Station. In his deposition to the police, it is learned that he is said to have stated in his statement, the victim arrived at Louise Shack in a highly intoxicated condition and was asking those present to help her reach Seoli. Michael Elias Masala has stated that he along with another Britisher was present in the shack and that he volunteered to pay the taxi fare if the locals, namely Louis Coutinho, who is the owner of the shack, accused Samson D'Souza, Placido Carvalho and Murli, who were present, could organize a taxi to drop the victim home, but that they did not bother. He said as time passed, he had noticed Samson enticing the victim and warned him against it. However, as he was leaving the shack, he allegedly saw Samson on top of the victim and it appeared that the accused was trying to undress the victim. Masala said that he was helpless as Samson and Murli, being locals, could have physically assaulted him. He also mentioned in his statement that he did not approach the police as he was scared and that he was staying as a guest at the residence of Samson and hence went underground. He said that he was advised to stay away by a lawyer whom he refused to disclose. He said that he made his appearance only after the police have assured him safety and wants to help Fiona in her struggle to bring out the truth. I just confirmed to the police exactly what was in my statement and I'm helping the course of justice go along. That's all I have to say. Thank you very much. Michael was accompanied by Fiona's lawyer, Vikram Verma, to the Polvary police station from his office along with Fiona. However, the police does not seem to be impressed with his statement as police had already gathered most of the information and it corroborates with his version. People who are saying this was sham investigation, hush up investigation, I think this his statement today vindicates for us stand very clearly. Who have we, who we have arrested, who we have made, what as witnesses is very, very clear. Adds on and supports our case. Meanwhile, Fiona's representation to the Prime Minister's office seems to have the right effect as Chief Minister Digambar Kamath, who is in the national capital, has sought an appointment with the Prime Minister, Dr. Manmohan Singh, to brief him about the entire incident and the various stages of investigation by the Goa police. We are heading for a short break. Stay with us. Thank you.